Philadelphia in the spotlight as Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump went head to head in their first and what might be their only debate last night. And here to talk more about it is Professor <laughs> Rob McMonagall, who is a political science professor at Newman University. Dr. McMonagall, thank you for joining us. Appreciate it. Thank you, Jim and Jill. Great to be with you. Well, let's start with the very beginning. They had a kind of awkward handshake to get things started, but then the gloves came off. What did you think about the debate overall? What were your initial thoughts? I, I think you're right. It's a great metaphor. It was much like a heavyweight fight, uh, you know, with punches and counter punches. And let me just say, uh, here at Newman University, we try to give everyone a voice and uh, really focus on one of our core values, which is reverence and really dignity for all. So all were welcome to participate, and everybody did. We did have disparate views. Uh, I started organizing this uh, event watch party 20 years ago. We do it on a biennial basis, and we call it pizza and politics here. So we'd love for uh, future high school students to join us, in fact, uh, here at Newman. Uh, now, our, our students, they only had two weeks to prepare for this. This is through my state and local government uh, course, and they uh, did a great job. Uh, they conducted a pre-debate poll uh, where the audience, and we, I'm, I'm estimating we had about you know, 75 students there, and uh, as I mentioned to Jim uh, at the outset, that uh, we finished about 25 pizzas, so <laughs> uh, it, it was really a lot of fun. Uh, the pre-poll indicated that uh, most students in the room were supportive of Harris over Trump, by significant margin. Uh, on the other hand, it was interesting to me that about uh, n nearly one-fifth of them were saying they were going to vote for an independent. So that was a little surprising mm. to me. Uh, we used some technology and uh, looked at that early pre-polling data, um, but the same poll was not conducted afterward. Uh, unfortunately, I don't, don't have those data. Let me ask uh, you, um, Professor, as far as the, the, the candidates themselves, uh, first of all, Harris's performance, did anything stand out to you? I think perhaps that, that well, number one, she was uh, positive, and especially uh, a couple of points along the way, including her closing remarks. Uh, she was trying to send a positive message uh, to the nation, an uplifting one. Uh, so that really stuck out to me. And also, she, at some point, uh, I think threw Trump a curveball and started talking about his rallies. And that's when, to me, he seemed to be thrown off his, his game. Off yeah, his and, and, and talk about that a little bit. Uh, you know, going into it, we were hearing that his advisors wanted him to sort of stay on message. Do you think he did that? Do you think he succeeded? It's difficult for him to do that. I did see him, as they say, uh, his, one of his advisors, longtime advisors, Kellyanne Conway, I, I read over recent months, has told him to sort of flip the script. So if Harris would say one thing, then he would take that same point and then reverse it and say, no, in fact, you are the one doing that. So uh, that seemed to be a prevalent technique that he was using. Well, Rob McMonagall, a political science professor at Newman University, we appreciate you joining us this morning.